okay so creating for instagram post let's go 1480 by 1350 okay let's click create so let's begin with the first image so let's bring this guy so the thing is we can use this image only this image for this composition okay but i don't want i want the product to be flying over a city okay but where we are standing and having the view it is green grass okay so we will just we, uh, we need this loop right here and the rest will go and then the sky we need the sky but these hills we don't want okay so let's add layer mask and then take the brush so make sure your set foreground is black okay and for now we are going to take the sky together with the hills over here and leave the slope and we will bring the sky later okay after we place in the city so let's clean the sky and the hills okay now don't leave these black spots or these black shades at the edges okay so you can lower the flow and let it fade into the grass a little so we are okay with this one now let's bring this image let's send the layer below now let's increase it now the image got deselected and i'm trying to select it back but i'm having difficulties because this layer is on top okay so sometimes you'll be clicking on the image you won't get it so let's select it from the layer okay the layers panel all right now i can continue resizing all right so with this we are just going to get rid of the sky because we don't want the sky so let's add layer mask and then take our brush all right so you can lower your flow again and just fade into the bridge okay the top of the bridge because it's far away so there should be probably be a fog we will add a fog on top but just fade it in like that now let's select the mask of the top layer okay this grass guy and let's take our brush so let's bring back the sky okay so let's make sure the foreground is white so we can switch it and down here we can bring some of the grass back okay so let's bring some back so i have fog brushes for you guys so let's import i've already imported mine so over here in the brushes click this guy you see import brushes so the link in the description kindly download that just locate and then in where you saved or you extracted these brushes just select the brushes okay mine they are desktop i think no let me just go to this location and i have the brushes here so i have free fog brush free fog brushes 18 okay so i will select i have it already and then open they will show up they will show up you will still see the basic so click the basic and um down here you see free fog photoshop brushes brush one and then select this first one or you can pick any okay now let's grab the brush so we can resize it before we click let's create a new layer okay a new blank layer now i'm seeing black because black is in front okay so let's click to bring white in front is it pure white no that's not pure white let's double click and make it f f f f f now let's click so we gotta click now let's select the move to now let's add layer mask to the fog and clean the bottom here because it is closer to us so there shouldn't be any fog over there so add layer mask and then let's take the brush so let's go to basic 
okay and pick the soft round over here at the bottom and select the brush so we have to make sure the foreground is black okay so that we can clean the fog so only on top of this grass that we will clean okay and when it comes to this the background we can decrease the opacity of the fog but we will try that later okay so let's continue so let's select this uh the grass over here and let's add gaussian blur go to filters and then up here got gaussian blur now let's increase it small 1b so 0 0.5 is okay now let's bring in this image Now right click transform and then flip horizontal now let's add layer mask and then take the brush and clean the top and leave only the flowers okay Now let's select the topmost layer and let's bring this image. So I won't recommend adding shadows to any part of this because um, the sun, it is broad daylight, the sun goes around it, okay. And the product name has to be visible, clear and all of that. And if you check the grass here, we got some shadows, we will take it as grass shadows or let's see. There is a tree behind the camera that's casting that shadows or maybe the person who took the shot itself, okay. And we will even add branches, blur them up and put this guy in focus. So, you know, it makes sense that way. So don't add shadows over here. Now let's bring in the glide. So with the glide, you can choose between this or this. Okay, but I'm picking this one. So if I zoom in, you can see that we got the strings in here. But I chose to get rid of the saggy ones that will be attached to the product because due to the affirmation, it won't help us here. Okay. So in here, we are just going to use the pen tool to extend them and attach them to the product. Okay. So let's grab the pen tool by P on the keyboard. So I'm just going to extend them. All right. And if you want the roofs to be bigger, a little bigger, then you have to trace from the start. Okay. But I'm just extending them from here and make the size similar so i will just click here and then attach it to the product okay as a graphic designer you've come across motion flyers if not this is what i mean So what you are seeing right here were static flyers brought to life in adobe after effects and i'm sure you want to know more about this hi there i'm emmanuel and welcome to the ultimate flyer animation crash course with cool graphics from 2d to 3d flyer animation in adobe after effects which include five solid topics and this is what we will learn in this course we will first of all start with the basics of After Effects, covering each and every single tool in After Effects and master the transform options which are the backbone of motion flyers in After Effects. And the best part of this is we will learn how to create flyers from scratch in Adobe After Effects. Yes, not Photoshop, Adobe After Effects from scratch, which will help you get solid understanding of the tools in Adobe After Effects. And from there, we will learn how to import and animate Photoshop flyers, including the ones we create from scratch in After Effects. Then we move on to 3D animations. We will start with the basics of the camera tool, camera options, the null objects, and any other tool that makes 3D animations possible in Adobe After Effects. And finally, move on to polish our skills with top-notch 2D and 3D projects. So take a look at a couple of projects that we will polish our hands with.
this and many more that we will cover in this crash course all videos are available on google drive to download and practice at your own pace and a big discount for the first 100 people especially those who have subscribed to cool graphics channel on youtube motion flyers is not a trend that's a whole new skill on its own so grab those scores and upgrade your skills as well as your portfolio today so i got my paint over there i'll hit escape on the keyboard and up here i will click all right and pick uh, i won't pick white for that because the roofs are not all that white okay but maybe we can shift it down a little okay and then make the size the points over here i'll make it 0 0.3 All right you see we got it over here all right and if it, it might not be visible so if you want to make the rope bigger so that it will be visible then you will have to delete this guy get the pen tool and then start from here okay and let it fall on the previous path so you can grab the hit a on the keyboard click this anchor point and you can shift it to fall on the previous path and you can change the point to let's see 0 0.5 all right now you can see it is bigger but since the background is white it's not that visible so you can change the color to let's say any visible color whether blue or something so it all depends on you okay all right so let's make it blue now we have one string over there so i'm going to trace over all these strings and whether i'll make them white or not uh, i can choose white you can choose any different color okay so kindly follow this path So the ones here will go behind will get hidden behind the product so that we will assume they are being attached to the other end of the product okay and the ones coming from here will attach to the side okay so let's group these guys the ones that we've created let's group them before so select the top one hold shift and then ctrl g to group so after that let's select the layer below the product all right, and now let's create the rest. So grab the pen tool. So if the ropes are plenty for you, you can reduce them, okay? Because me, even these two guys, they shouldn't be there, okay? So I think they are plenty, but anyway, I'll, I'm keeping this, all right? So if you don't want them to be blue, you can choose white. So this is the color that I'm using, okay? Not blue and not that white, okay? Some bluish gray or bluish ash. What color is that? So if you want that color, just kindly pick the color code from here okay so that's it all right so after that let's group the rest of the strings that went behind the product so select and then group them so once again you can reduce the number of ropes if they are too many okay as for me i can't take this kind of risk because i can't afford to lose the product well, what if i use few strings and some of the ropes break and it couldn't get delivered to my house maybe it falls on top of the grass i will lose it okay so i have to make sure safety first please that's <laughs> for you can risk it so after this let's select these layers okay the ropes on the left side the ropes on the right the product and the glide balloon or something let's select these layers and let's group them so once grouped you can hit ctrl j to duplicate and the duplicate just right click on that 
and you will see let's scroll down we have merge down here okay so let's rasterize okay all right so let's place uh, them or let's place it here okay so let's place it here and let's drag it below the fork all right now with this one we can choose to add a little blur on top of this so let's add gaussian blur 0 0.2 is okay now let's select um the layer itself okay the duplicates and hit ctrl j to duplicate it again now let's bring one down here So right now the design is flat okay so we need to put things in the foreground and blend them out to put this in focus all right so i got a bunch of things for you over here so you can put this guy in front and blur it or you can choose this guy okay and we will have uh some leaves over here so with that one you can use this or uh, this or uh, this guy right here you just use the tip okay so i'm for me i'm just going to use this one so but before that i will just select this guy okay and duplicate ctrl j and bring one down here and make it smaller so i'll select the topmost layer and then bring this guy so we are going to add blur now let's add exposure so i'll drag it and drop it on top of the layer all right and then decrease so let's make it a little bigger so you can keep this or you can place something at the bottom right here let's see leaf or something okay so i'll bring this guy right click transform flip horizontal so i'm just going to add blur and then exposure okay So after this you can keep this okay so they are flying over a slope this one is closer to the ground others are you know above the ground so you can maintain this or even add leaves small small leaves or single leaves in motion blur around it okay or you can bring either this guy this guy or this guy over here so let's see bring it uh, bring this guy So come here and the motion blur. So you can place it here or maybe place it here. Anywhere, okay. Just add your own creativity so that it becomes different from mine, okay. And that's the end of this video. Kindly subscribe, like this video, and I'm out. Peace.